Yo, I'm still not ready to open that door. I just still, I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm just not ready to open that door. Hey, it is Thursday, April the 22nd of 2021. And today it is the very critically last day. So if you haven't seen the previous video yesterday, it was my birthday and it was kind of like comedy watching some freaky UFC kicks, people beating each other in the face like wild boars in the ring while you're just about to feel dead and you just want to get off the ring but you can't. Now guys, just to add on to what I was speaking about at the end of yesterday's vlog, the series that I would call 254 hours. Now, 254 hours is gonna change my life one step even further than last time on July 29th, 2019, when I got involved with a car crash after we had an argument all over a phone charger. My phone was running out of battery, but the charger didn't work. And all of a sudden we got into an argument with that. And then at the end of the day, the car crashed. And then it took more than 25 minutes for the police to investigate what was going on. That was the roughest day I've ever, ever had. That was the scariest day I have ever, ever had. And so before July 29th, I never cared about my eating habits. I never cared about my eating disorders and I never cared about like any exercise related things. Like even though at some point it was just too much, I didn't care. I didn't care about my weight at all. Like I just wanted to be who I was. And when July 29th came along, that's when I changed. That's when I started to think when I should do exercise on a certain day. So with that being said, I'm gonna make myself like a challenge that will last 254 hours. Technically speaking, 10 days and 14 hours. So it's not gonna be wearing the same clothes for 254 hours. It's not gonna be eating only one food for 254 hours. In fact, that 254 hours challenge is going to make me a bit more like a patient person. Like pretty often when I get stuck in a heavy traffic jam, when it takes minutes for people to move their vehicle, like I get pretty stressed out and I don't like it. And it's just too clogged at some point. Like some people don't even move at the green light. Sometimes it just takes more than five seconds after the traffic lights turn green and they just still don't move. But the 254 hour challenge is going to make me a bit more patient. And one suitable alternative could be that I will quarantine myself for 254 hours. Like that could be, and I'm not going to do it nowadays. I'll do it sometime like eight months later. Tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, guys, I'm back. So yeah, 254 hours. I'm going to change my characteristic by one more step. Like sometimes I feel like I'm getting mad. Like even when there's no traffic jam and stuff. So yeah. So I'm turning like a film into reality. Okay, yeah guys, I just got back in the neighborhood. I'm kind of nervous to see my mom and I'm excited, but I'm nervous on the other side. Like today, I am officially done with these school stuff and I just would like to watch that tennis lesson. Oh my God, I'm kind of nervous. Let's just watch.
Huh, she's doing pretty nice. Yo, I'm still not ready to open that door. I just still, I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm just not ready to open that door. And I did, yeah. Huh, check that empty bag out. That calculator, yeah, obviously doesn't even work anymore. Like, I try to keep this button on for so long. Like, it already doesn't work anymore. That tiny notebook, well, who even cares? It's done. It's no more. I'm not even a chant freak school stuff because it's done and I'm out of it. Yeah, guys, what a beyond extraordinary week this has been for me. At first, me and my dad were into a series of UFC matches featuring Khabib Nurmagomedov in that ring, grabbing his hands onto other people's faces, smacking them like boxers. And then I have my birthday. And today I come here, finished school. Despite some days that I have been running late due to a heavy congested traffic jam and obviously me getting so mad at the drivers ahead, me like ranting at them saying, ah, oh, this is not gonna end. And me coming home, not happy at all, sulking expressions and not motivated. Despite all those issues, it was fun. There's a lot of things I'm gonna miss about it. Even throughout this past year, I feel like I was very lucky to have had a driver who took me to school and picked me up from school at the end of each school day. While well, before that, I took the bus and obviously you had to wait for multiple people to get off the bus so that I could get home on time. But yeah, there we go. I'm on my way out on the road trip out of school. It was kind of an experience, huh? It was a big experience, to be honest. Like until the middle of my first year of high school, I wouldn't want to go to school on most of the days. I hated to go to school. I, I just wished to make an excuse saying I'm sick or have a headache. For my bus drivers, there are some that I have been kind of like friends with for the time that I have that driver. There were some drivers that I wish I had for the rest of my school life. But as well as that, there have been some drivers that I wasn't happy with. Like there have been days where me waiting out of the neighborhood for my bus to come in the morning, 20 minutes later, still my bus doesn't show up and I get pretty frustrated, like thinking, why is this happening? And then the bus comes and asks the hostess, like I get into it with her and just find out why it could possibly be like some lazy students forgetting to put their alarms on. Despite all that, it was still like a fun experience. And for the virtual lessons, like so that nobody comes in my room while I'm doing the lesson, I would put like Axe perfumes on that door handle. Hence, whenever anyone would open that door, the Axe perfume would drop on that floor and make a bashing noise. Like as soon as this moves, <laughs> yeah. I just grabbed it with these fingers. <laughs> okay, this cat wants to get into the apartment, but no, I'm not letting him. Okay, well, he didn't get closer because he looked like he was gonna get in. Pair of jeans, a shirt or two We didn't pack as if we weren't and going back It doesn't matter if it's true I've got a feeling love will give us what we like The world is waiting up The world is waiting half a step beyond our door yeah. And if it's not enough I wanna see the stuff the world has got in store. Uh. Okay, yeah, that was a fantastic walk outside. Just take a look at this one. I never knew that they had these kind of cookie pops. Yep, I call it cookie pop because it's on a stick with a dog face. Oh, I don't even know what that's for, but obviously we didn't even buy it from the cake store, the party store. This is. Oh, we got, we still have a lot of these forks. 
out there and still a lot of unused plates, tissues, and cups. Okay, and some of the balloons that have been standing here. Wow, it's kind of like a chess game that there's a white circle-shaped balloon and a black one too. Oh, this one looks pretty nice too. And that. So those are pretty much all the balloons up here. And finally, those flowers are growing. The bees are pollinating each and every one of them. Man, we were very late this year. We were very late to see those flowers grow. I mean, we were very late with winter. Until the middle of January, it looked like we were not going to have any snow this winter. And as a consequence of that, those bees have decided to finally wake up on time, like military soldiers, and pollinate those flowers. Oh my god, look at what's going on out there. It looks like they're just playing a skip and rope kind of game. And remember like a couple of weeks ago, there was a barbecue party out here? Okay guys, that is all to have said for today. Pretty much all the birthday decorations still standing out there and still some unused items on that plate. What a story. So tomorrow is going to be a busy day with gross gang since I didn't do it on Wednesday. And because of that, I will very likely make the vlog short tomorrow. It's just going to be a short vlog, like eight minutes. That's it. Up to eight minutes of vlog. So I will see you guys. Have a nice day and have a nice early weekend. I don't know. It's only Thursday.